walk by faith and not by sight. No gracious word we hear. Of him who spoke as none are spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch his hand and side, nor follow where he trod. Yet in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. Good morning and welcome to St. Mary on this Saturday of the 18th week of Ordinary Time. And we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and give, keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Bind them at your wrist as a sign, and let them be as a pendant on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land, which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you a land with fine, large cities that you did not build, with houses full of goods of all sorts that you did not garner, with cisterns that you did not dig, with vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. And when, therefore, you eat your fill, take care not to forget the Lord, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. The Lord your God shall you fear, him shall you serve, and by his name shall you swear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to our psalm will be, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord live, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave victories to your King, and showed kindness to your anointed, to David and his posterity forever. I love you, Lord, my strength. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. with 
you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A man came up to Jesus, knelt down before him and said, Lord, have pity on my son, who is a lunatic and suffers severely. Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him, and from that hour the boy was cured. Then the disciple approached Jesus in private and said, Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen, I say to you, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass. For the Holy Father's intention for August, for the Church, that she may receive the grace and strength to reform herself in the light of the Gospel. So today we hear about trust and love, the love of God for us, but also our love for God, recognizing all the great gifts that we have been given. And we're even here in that first reading from Deuteronomy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God and the Lord alone. And so we're called to love our Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. But he also reminds us all the things that he did for the children of Israel who escaped from slavery. And he says, I've given you land with large cities that you did not build, houses that you did not garner, cisterns that you did not dig, vineyards and olive groves and figs that you did not plant. And he asked one thing, take care not to forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, that place of slavery. So we are called to fear the Lord, we are called to serve the Lord, and that his name we will swear by it. And so it gives us pause helps us recognize all those gifts that we give. And we hear it in the Gospel with the man, the father, who, wouldn't, who would do anything for his son, who has been afflicted from all his life. And so we hear how he went to the disciples first, but they could not cure his son. And Jesus said to them, because of your little faith, if you truly had the faith of a mustard seed, you could tell a mountain to move, and it would. Because he says, nothing will be impossible for you if you truly have those seeds of faith. So where in our lives do we pay lip service to God, but we really don't live out our faith? We don't recognize. We think we have to do everything. We have to play in our day, our lives, all because we're afraid of what God will or won't do for us. And so let's recognize that God only wants the best for us. He will never give us a life that is second rate. So where can we have faith? Where can we have trust in God that he will give us exactly what we need? And it's for us to grow from only asking for what we want to truly know that God loves us, loves us deeply, and has given us so much that we have not worked for. So let us be joyful, let us be hopeful, and let us always give praise and thanksgiving to God for his love and his everlasting love salvation. Let us stand for our petitions. Jesus reveals himself as the bread of life, who satisfies every hunger. Let us bring our needs before our God, that the church will be renewed in the spirit, offering hope to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our parish faith community may be a living sign of God's hope and love in the community and the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, 
that the sick will be healed through God's merciful love. And we especially pray for all those names and intentions that have been placed in the Book of the Sick. In a special way, we pray for Father Henry Krejcik and for Father Tom Bema. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who died and those who will die today will dwell forever in the house of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray the prayer that is in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness, you feed us with the bread from heaven and fortify us for eternal life in your kingdom. Hear our prayers that we might always dwell in your presence and be intent on drawing others to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, who to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Your need, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until we come until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not of our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Everyone have a blessed day. Help that O oh Lord our unbelief and may our faith abound to call on you when you are near and seek where you are found that when our life of faith is done in realms of clear